Hey guys, this is Leo at Lee Time. Chamomile has been used for thousands of years to treat the ailment, and it's also called a cure all medicinal herb. But there are so many kinds of chamomile. What is the right time to be used? Should I use a chamomile flower or chamomile root? What is the right time to pick the chamomile flower and to make the full benefit of this medicinal herb? Besides the herbal tea, what are the better way to extract the chamomile and what is the right chamomile essential oil you should choose? In this video, I will answer all of these questions and demonstrate you the steam distillation of a chamomile. Scientific study identified 120 different chemicals within chamomile flower, including terpenes, flavonoids, and other compounds. And these chemicals bring pharmacological activities, including antiseptic, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammation. Within the chemicals, the compound from the essential oil plays a major role. Essential oils can be extracted from either chamomile flower or root. The difference is their chemical composition. The essential oil extracted from a chamomile flower in many contains bisabolone and its oxides, camazolin. These two group of chemicals have a strong medicinal functions, including antiseptic, antimicrobial, anti-inflammation. A camazolin have a blue color. It brings the name of a blue oil to the chamomile. But essential oil extracted from the root, these chemicals are minor. The difference in the chemical composition brings a difference in their function. This makes the chamomile flower stand out from the, all the parts of the plants. Chamomile tea is an easy way for daily use. It's quick and simple, but it's not that efficient to extract because of its low temperature. Steam distillation is the most efficient and common way to make the essential oil out of the chamomile flower. In the following video, I will demonstrate you how to do the steam distillation with the dry chamomile flower and also explain what are the best quality chamomile flower you want to use for your distillation. I'm using the dry chamomile flower. It is a uh, German chamomile. Its Latin name is uh, Machicaria racotita. So I show you how it looks like. This is a, a good quality chamomile. Why I see high quality? Because uh, this, you look at uh, a lot of uh, these, uh, the yellow core of the flower, and some uh, pieces of the petals. Um, that means when they pick up the flower, the flower has been uh, full bloom. With the growth of the flower from the buds to the full bloom, the essential compound increase with it. And this essential compound reach the peak when they have a full bloom. So that means the high quality. Steam distillation, that means the water in this pot and the column is filled with the plant material. So the steam will go through the material and come over here. This is a cooling, it's called a condensation. And today I'm using the circulation to do the condensation. Uh, you can also use the manual way. When you do the manual way, this circulation port will be closed as it was in the beginning and then you just add an ice cube in there for the manual condensation it saves space and good for the short-term distillation because with time you need to manually scoop the hot water out and refill it with a new ice cube and this circulation because this is a reservoir it has more cooling energy so it can run a a bit longer time 
Uh, also, you always check the temperature of this. But this is a tiny bucket. It's a, I forgot it's five gallon. So it run about 45 minutes. Then you gotta replace or refill with the cold water. And also today, I'm going to try to see if I get any uh, essential oil. Within chamomile, there is a very low essential oil concentration. It's about 0.3%. So, but I still using these, the lead time uh, oil uh, collector and a separator. Uh, try to separate if there is any oil. What it does is uh, when the distillate comes in this main pipe, uh, remember close this, so it will collecting all the distillate because oil is uh, lighter, so it will flow on the top, and then the bottom, the hydrosol will flow out from here. Waste time uh, collecting uh, more essential oil. I want to show you the color. It's not like a very blue, but it does have a little bit of a yellow and a bluish color. This uh, depends on the chemical called uh, camazoline. More camazoline means more blue. Camazoline change with the storage time of the flower. Fresher has a more camazoline, and with a longer storage, and that chemical will fade it. After stopped for a couple hours, and let's go back to check the oil. You see, it does have uh, some uh, bluish green color. This means the camazoline that make the color, but it definitely is temperature sensitive. When it was a hot or high temperature, it's not that blue, but when it's cooled down, it will show the blue color. This is very interesting. Just to recap the video of today, so chamomile flower has a more functional chemicals within it. That's why we want to use it to take a benefit. And the right time to pick the flower is a full bloom because the time that the chemicals they peak. The steam distillation can make the essential oil and also the hydrosol. And you can use the hydrosol as a skincare and a drink additive. And the essential oil you can use as uh, aromatherapy or the massage. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. Please like the video, subscribe the channel, and see you next time.